As there was an elk banner announced for the uh, upcoming War God Finn banner, I thought that some of you guys might be interested in farming elk to hopefully get him. And seeing how there hasn't really been an updated guide to elk farming in a little while, I thought that it'd be interesting to make a quick little guide for you guys. Obviously, there hasn't been really any huge changes to the way elk farming works, but there are more efficient ways to go about it, as well as some extra things that you guys might not know about. Starting off with the very basics, 5 star farmable equips will sell for 10 elk each, 4 stars will sell for 4 elk, and 3 stars will sell for 2 elk. The best stages that you're going to want to farm elk on are going to be Gilliam, Gaia, Sophie, and Edrum. The reason that these stages are going to be so good is that they're able to be nuked with equips fairly quickly. Not only that, but they're all one stage and drop quite a bit of equips fairly frequently. And for stages like Gaia and Gilliam, they both have two 5 star equip drops, which means that you're going to be getting a lot of higher ALK equips to sell more often. There are also some other stages that you could run, like near Grad or other luck unit stages. But those are a lot higher stamina and they're going to cost a lot more stamina potions in the long run. You can definitely farm elk solo, but I'd prefer that you do it in multi since you can get a lot more drops. A quick little explanation of how luck works in multi. The hosts can go up to luck 300 and players 2-4 to four can go to luck 100, but that wouldn't be needed if they're luck 80 and everyone uses cheese, which gives 20 more luck points to the team. Since the leader is capped at 300 luck, you're going to want them to be as high of luck as possible. And for a luck 300 leader, that's crazy because that means that with the rest of the team being luck 80 or higher, you're going to be getting 15 drops a run, which means that your alk will greatly increase per run. Obviously, everyone isn't going to have a luck 300 unit, but some good free to play high luck units include the luck 140 units Chloe, Asus, and Vitz. For the rest of the team, you're going to want them to run luck 80 or higher units, preferably units that have multiple physical or magical slots. Some good units for players 2 through 4 include units such as Asus, Genos, Hijikata, Ganon, or Urza. The reason being that they all have two 5 star physical slots, which means that they can hold multiple high damaging equips. As well as multiple damaging equip slots, the luck units that have 4 star supports like Genos or Chloe, should run a crit item like Terra or the Redacne Mine Equip to increase the team's damage. As for which equips are going to be the best for equip nuking, the best options are going to be the higher multiplier equips such as Creation, Orvel Trunks, True Tempest, or the easily farmable one Grandestin, which is obtainable from Orvel's side story. As well as damaging equips, a couple of players should bring resist down equips to buff everyone's damage a little more namely physical resist down equips as well as damage buffing equips. Some good physical resist down equips include Emperor and Valerie's true weapon, Angelus's true weapon, and a free one being the Mornian star from Detective Lisa's side story. Basically anything that lowers physical resist. Some good team-wide damage buffing items include Nox, Godzilla, True Grandestin, and Lazi's true weapon. Another notable equip to increase damage to the enemy is uh, Richelieu's Bikini. As you're going to be equip nuking, it'd be best that everyone avoids using their art. This will save everyone a lot of time since you're going to be going through a lot of runs. A final important thing to remember as well, if you think you're going to be farming with a friend or a random for a long time, I'd suggest that you friend request everyone in the lobby. By doing so, every 100 runs that you play together as a friend, you're able to go infinitely into your friend list and claim 100 elk, an additional 100 elk every 100 runs that you play with a friend, going up to 300 with 3 friends. Some quick little numbers for my runs, I counted how much elk I got over 200 runs and including the elk from friends, I accumulated 2600 elk playing Sophie. Stages such as Gaia or Gilliam will yield a lot more elk for the same effort. That means that you could farm a minimum of 1300 elk every 100 quests that you play with friends. I hope that this guide was enough to teach you a little bit about farming elk. Hopefully they decide to keep the 10k elk banners for future 6 stars, but who knows what they'll do. If you have any questions about this, feel free to ask me in the comments. Good luck to anyone that's going to be farming elk to summon for War God Fen, because I know I'm farming too. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.